Greetings, family. It's Regina Dillard from Chef Regina Cooks, and I'm just jumping in really quickly because I promised I would do a Facebook Live regarding Irish sea moss. And if you don't know what Irish sea moss is, come on in and I'll share just a little bit of information with you and show you how to make the Irish sea moss gel. So again, this is Regina Dillard from uh, Chef Regina Cooks Healthy Community, and I wanna share with you information about Irish sea moss. I promised you that. You've been seeing me put a spoonful in my smoothies. I don't go a day without it. If you don't see me put Irish sea moss in my food or smoothies because I probably forgot, but I normally have it in there every day. So I just wanna share some information. Come on in, come on in everybody. Thanks for joining me. I know some of you are still probably en route home uh, from work or some of you have the night shift going to work it's okay you can catch this uh, live um, later well not the live but the rebroadcast so I just want to jump right in and share this wonderful information about Irish sea moss I've been using it probably for the last year steadily um, consistently because what I found is that it has really helped with uh, the inflammation in my body. Now, one thing about Irish sea moss, it has 98% of, of, the, of the minerals we need in our body to sustain health. However, it also has one natural ingredient called potassium chloride, which helps break down, break down the mucus and the phlegm in our bodies from inflammation. So if you get up in the morning and you find yourself coughing and hocking up that thick phlegm um, during the day, or especially in the morning because it builds up at night, uh, if you find yourself with a lot of colds, a lot of mucus, if you're out exercising and you find yourself coughing up a lot of thick mucus, whether it's white or yellow, that's from inflammation in the body. It's not just because of the cold, but because it's something that's already inside, it's internal. And so your lungs are, your bronchial passages are inflamed. And that's simply where inflammation comes. It's a swelling of tissue in the body. And this potassium chloride, which is contained in iris sea moss, will help break that down and push it out of the body. Um, I always talk about healing from the inside out, and this is something that can help you as long as you're maintaining health by eating a plant-based diet and making sure you're just maintaining, you know, good health. So because you are not going to be able to just take Irish sea moss and think it's a quick fix, I wish it was that easy. But what I found is as you learn about your body, as we're growing and we're getting more information and as we're... Um, Sometimes even experimentation, knowing what works for your body and what doesn't, you'll find that when you include certain things like these natural ingredients, that you'll find that you'll heal much quicker. So I'm gonna just jump right into it because I wanna show you something that is just really fascinating to me. Now I have um, listed in the link um, in the description box where to get it because I believe in trusted sources. All the information out here now is not always reliable and the uh, uh, some of the products that we're buying, even though they're supposedly holistic, they're not 100% holistic and some have fillers and additives and I do my due diligence and I try to share information and share uh, companies and resources that can give you quality ingredients. Now, the first person who uh, I met him a while back online, his name is um, Pierre Akeem, and he's from Vancouver, British Columbia, and Canada. He's a wonderful guy. If you go to his website at the link below, you if you hear him say, um, hello, Rastafaro, don't get excited, Jamaican folks. He's not saying Rastafarian, he's saying Rastafaro because he's half Egyptian and half Jamaican. So I just wanted to clear that up. So anyway, it's a great guy, great product. He sells out very quickly. So when I can't get his product, I just get um, the Transition Nutrition. So anyway, so just let me just show you what it looks like. So coming right out of the, the, the package, it looks like this. See, it looks like something that comes out of the sea, right? So it has a lot of sand and grit. So you wanna make sure you wash it really well. Now this is about a little over two, maybe two and a half ounces. I'm gonna weigh it just so you'll see it. Okay, so I'll put it on the scale. Let me just put it on the scale here. 
and let you see how much it weighs. Hang on a second, let me just reset this because um, I just wanna show you how you don't need a whole lot when you're making it. Okay, so here we go. So this says 2.7 pounds. I'm hoping you can see it because my hand is actually making, can you see that? I don't know if you can see that or not, but it says 2.7 pounds. Let me get into there. I don't know if you can see that. But anyway, because my hand is making um, the scale heavier. But you can also see, look, the sand and the grit that's on it. That's why you have to wash it really well. So you put it in the bowl, make sure you cover it twice as much as in the bowl because it's going to expand and swell almost three times the size. So I use, I normally use two ounces, two and a half ounces, and this is the result. You see that? This is what it expanded to. Isn't that amazing? And that's why you don't need much because a little goes a long way. That one bag will last me sometimes for months. Okay, so this is not all you're going to do. Because, let me just drain this because I'm going to show you the next step. Okay. So this is already clean. It's already been rinsed and it's already sat overnight. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make the sea moth gel. So all you do is just take the sea moth. You put it in your high-speed blender, and I'm gonna move the camera down just so you can see. So you're gonna get a little camera movement here, but just bear with me, because I want you to see the blender. Okay, can everybody see that? Okay, put some likes in there if you can see, if you're okay with seeing with the blender. Okay, so I'm gonna assume everybody can see it. All right, so then you add some hot water. I have a hot tea kettle here, a tea kettle with hot water, I should say, and then you're just going to pour the hot water until it covers it, okay? Now, this is the part you really wanna be careful. So when you put the lid on, you don't wanna put it on the highest speed because you don't want it shooting out of the blender. So I'm gonna just put my tamper in here, which will serve as my top. And then I'm also going to put like a little towel around it just to protect it so it doesn't shoot out. And then I'm going to put it on. Let me move this camera back a little bit. Oh, there we go. I'm going to put it on its lowest setting. And then start low and then blend high. show you what it looks like so so it becomes really gelatinous and thick look at that so it becomes this wonderful gel that you can blend it in your smoothie now this is not how it's gonna stay because you do need to cool it off before you use it so that it solidifies so you put it in a jar so I normally put it in like a, this will yield maybe about um, 18 to 20 ounces I normally put it in a jar this size so as you see, I'm out, that's why I'm making, almost out, that's why I'm making some more. So once it's solidified, it's going to thicken and it's gonna look like this. Real gelatin-like. So you can put this in your smoothies. I would say a tablespoon, this, this, this right here is enough to put in your smoothies. Now, some people, so let me just move this out of the way so I can talk to you folks. Some people feel like, uh-oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hang on a second. 
there we go there we go some people say it, it smells like uh, a fish tank <laughs> or seawater and I guess it does well hence the name Irish sea moss and it's from the sea it has a lot of minerals it's drawn a lot of minerals from the water from the seawater and it's compatible with our bodies so one thing about when you're eating foods like this and it doesn't have a desirable taste it's only because you haven't acquired a taste for it yet. I'm not saying you'll you'll just jump in and, and, and will just automatically love it. You know, it may take one time, three times, five times, but know that you're getting great uh, benefits from it. As your palate changes, you'll have a desire to, to, uh, to consume it and your taste buds will change just like anything. I have no desire for certain things now because my palate has changed and it has adapted to these types of foods. But what you can do if you feel like it's tasting too um, fish tanky, <laughs> you can put nutmeg, cinnamon, coconut milk, uh, any kind of flavors. You can put vanilla in there to just make it taste amazing and add it to your smoothies. Then you'll get an extra boost. Sometimes you don't need all these packaged superfoods uh, that they're pushing on you. This is coming directly from the earth, from the ocean. It does have ingredients in it that we already need and it's compatible with our bodies. So, and, and a little bit goes a long way. So you'll have it for weeks and sometimes for months, depending on how much you buy. Again, I normally buy a package this size. Uh, try the first website, Pierre Keen, because he's a trusted source for Irish sea moss. Not everyone is trusted. They don't have the same ingredients. You know, they go through this processing, um, uh, the, uh, it's processed, and some of it includes fillers, and they're, they're not getting it from a reputable source, and some are third-party purveyors. So you wanna make sure whenever you're getting something that you're putting in your body that you know where it's coming from and that they're trusted. So again, uh, PierreKeem.com, I put his uh, website on the link below. He, in the description box below, he sells out so quickly. So when you see it, get it. Otherwise, if he's out like he was, when I tried to buy some, I also got some from this company, a Transition Nutrition, which is on Amazon. Just go there, put on uh, um, Transition Nutrition in the search box and uh, I receive moss and it'll pop right up. So that is it. I'm going to put this in my a new mason jar because I'm almost out and yeah again if you're just getting on if you're dealing with inflammation you know I see a lot of you popping on and and some of you have had some recent hospital visits and you know I'm you know and not to call anybody out or whatever because that's not what this platform is about but what I'm saying is if you're dealing with a lot of inflammatory issues you know you might want to check if some of the foods you eat that could be contributing to that but also you want to counteract that with something that will uh, break that phlegm down and decrease the inflammation in your body okay hey Deb how you doing girl um, so that's it unless you all have any questions let me see thank you for all for joining and, and coming in I see you Janelle and Joy and Tanya and Lynn and Sonia hi everybody and Portia well thank you for joining in you can always um, drop your questions below if you think of anything else and I will talk to you soon have a good evening